guys, welcome to Found Flicks. Earlier today, a brand new trailer was unleashed for the new adaptation of Stephen King's It, and it's simply terrifying. The trailer is jam-packed with references to the book, cool Easter eggs, and other important reveals, so let's break down the new trailer for It and try not to get too scared. Welcome to Derry, Maine, and the home of the Losers Club the nice on the outside town that has been secretly ravaged by evil for years. Here we get a good look at the Losers Club having some fun. They may be bullied all the time, but at least they have each other and some kind of normal childhood before it tears it all away. Here we see a Patrick Hockstetter missing poster, who no doubt goes missing in the film after encountering it. We see him pop up on screen with the rest of his bully pals in a moment. Here's our complete gang of bullies that are also important antagonists in the film. We have the aforementioned Patrick, Belch Huggins, Henry Bauer, and Victor Chris. They harass and beat up the Loser Club regularly, and in this case are leering at Richie as he passes by. But then we see they are capable of much worse capturing Ben and taking a knife to him on a bridge. Even more unsettling is a couple that drive by and do nothing to help. The citizens of Derry tend to turn a blind eye to the evil in the town, and we see a red balloon in the back seat here, indicating that evil is truly everywhere in Derry, including in humans. Bill's little brother Georgie heads out in the pouring rain, following after the paper boat he made with his brother in a remake of the most iconic scene from the original. Georgie's boat drifts into a drain where he encounters Pennywise, looking quite terrifying who lures him into the sewers. Mike mentions his grandfather thinks the town is cursed, which is pretty accurate, I'd say. There's many violent incidents that have occurred in the town's history due to its presence there. Ben researches the town's history at the library, a place where he spends most of his time considered his sanctuary. And here he discovers several horrors that have befallen the town over the course of hundreds of years. One headline reads, an Easter explosion kills 88 children, 102 total. And we we see this is from 1905. Then we see five were massacred in broad daylight back in 1876, showing us these kinds of things have been happening for a long time here. In a picture from the past, there is the unmistakable visage of Pennywise nestled amongst all the other folks from way back when. Bully Henry comes across one of Pennywise's balloons, which he uses to lure his victims. At his house, Bill follows dirty footprints downstairs, seeing his missing brother creepily run by. Also in his hand, he is holding a leg turtle which represents Maturin, an ancient powerful turtle that appears to Bill in the novel and in the books for Dark Tower as well. The director wasn't a big fan of that original mythology and chose not to include Maturin in the film, but included this fun easter egg of the Lego turtle here in homage to that. We see Ben got cut up and his shirt is torn, but by what is the question? We might get our answer to that a bit later in the trailer. Henry, in a possible continuation of him seeing the balloon, appears to stumble across a new switchblade knife. In the book, Pennywise gives Henry a new knife and it looks like that's what we're seeing here. He uses it for some pretty terrible stuff in the book, but we don't know yet how much they'll follow from that original story. At the house on Nybolt Street, Bill leads the group in a pep talk before entering the house, and it does seem that Bill doesn't suffer much from stuttering in this version. And we see that Ben's shirt, the same one seen earlier, is not damaged here. So it must be something in the house that dealt him that damage, most likely one of its other forms, potentially a werewolf scene in the previous trailer. Down in its sewer lair, the kid here flashes his light around the area and we catch glimpses of other children's mementos with toys littered all over the ground. This clues us in on how many kids it has been taking over the years. By the looks of it, it's a lot. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Looking spooky as hell peeking out from behind that tunnel there. Then we see book character pharmacist Mr. Keen making his debut, who sure does look creepy in this shot but he isn't a real villain in the story, that is, at least until he's possessed by Pennywise. The closer one gets to its main layer, the greater his power becomes. Here we see it has the ability to levitate Beverly into the air, so she must have been lured down here by it, with the kids not finding her until right now. Mike fins off some charred looking arms, which is probably a reference to the black spot a former event that occurred in town leading to the deaths of several people in a club. This scene is proposed to be the opening of the potential sequel. And since I missed it in the last trailer, in this shot we get a glimpse of the leper, one of the forms that it takes in the story. Here we see another shot of the leper slowly reaching to grab someone by the shoulder. At Nibel, it is changing into another form, breaking out from his clown outfit. I think it may be a werewolf he's turning into based on his elongated nails, but can't quite say for sure 
sure what he's turning into from this shot. Ben is ensnared in what looks like cloth of some kind. It makes me think that it's actually Pennywise's costume itself that has him trapped here, but it could be some kind of net or spider web perhaps. Beverly gets a face full of blood gushing out of the sink. In the book, she's lured to look in the sink by it and is greeted by the blood fountain. Here we are seeing it manifesting visions to others outside of Bill, and in the book, only children see these things happening. The bully Patrick looks absolutely terrified, wielding a flamethrower. It looks like he went down in the sewers to hunt it down himself, but this is probably the last time we see him before he winds up on a missing poster. Our final scene has Richie in a room full of clowns. And if you look closely, there's one here that looks like the original Tim Curry Pennywise, which is pretty awesome. But there's only one clown Richie has to worry about here, and Pennywise springs to life lunging at him. Ah, Jesus, dude! And that's the end of the terrifying new It trailer. What did you guys think of it? Are there any other references or Easter eggs I missed? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Thanks for watching Found Flicks. See you next time.